about to we are. Okay. Looks like we are live this morning. <laughs> it's, it's a little early. About an hour late, but that's that's norm. Uh, I'm Miro. I am Data. And we'll be running uh, a joint DM. This is the first time for us. Uh, team DMing Violet Ribbon, a steampunk inspired 5e game. So let's go around the table. Let's get our players introduced. All right. Hey, everybody. That This is Spencer Young, Ninja Spence, that you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, as, as just Ninja Spence 21. Then that I shall be playing, oh, Talia Roughglass, that the Air Genasi Sun Soul Monk. Uh, my name is John. Uh, I would be on Twitch, but my computer died this week, so it's in repair. Uh, today I will be playing Char. Uh, Slash Charlotte, um, a drow fighter. All right, I'm Emily Frey, CBA. I am going to be playing a half elf artificer named Ada. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm LeBlanc um, or Alaric. Uh, I will be playing a half elf fighter named Puck. <laughs> of course, it's named Puck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a uh, Nasa does cosplay, and today I'll be playing Era, a Aracocra Hexblade. Nice, nice. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Era. Ara. I apologize. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to spell your name. I do. Ah. <laughs> I, I, do, I do not apologize. I do linguistics, y'all. This is what I do. I, can, I cannot roll R's. I barely speak the one language my country says this is. It, is it. <laughs> I can't. Shut up, we can do this. Uh, I'm Christina. Oh. I go by Kiorita, and I have uh, Vera. She is a Warforged, or they are a Warforged cleric um, of the Forge domain. Uh, yay, Knox. Uh, I, play, I am playing a Warforged Soul Knife with a really long name. We'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so none of you are from here. Some of you aren't even sure where you originally came from because you've been thrown through about 28 dimensions of nonsense. Some of you think you might have bounced off of God's face. <laughs> Good times. Now we know why Odin really only has one eye. <laughs> It was me. <laughs> Odin just goes yeah. to the sky on slip here. Ah, ah, ah. Well, burn my off. <laughs> what was that? Oh. In any case, you're not from here. You found yourself scattered. Morning. 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 You found yourself scattered across what, for lack of a better term, can only be described as a moonscape. Craters dead humans and animals. Technology most of you have never seen before. The overwhelming smell of sulfur and chlorine. Mm. And above you in the sky is this twisting and turning Aurora Borealis-esque purple haze that in the distance, no matter where you landed, in the distance from you, it looks like the form of an immaculate woman with her arms crossed over her, but you don't know if you actually saw that or if it was a trick of the mind. It's something that the longer from when you got thrown here, the more it's kind of hazy. Did you really see that? And it seems the world you're in was all human and technologically advanced compared to where you came from. Over the next several months, you come to know this world is known as Solus. It's war-torn. 
In fact, quite literally, where you were spit out was the heart of the war near a city named Verdun. I leave one boar and go to another. <laughs> you end up having to talk to the Solace Housing Initiative team. <clears throat> its acronym is appropriate. They promise to find you jobs and a place to stay, but very quickly, this torn apart continent known as Europe doesn't have a place for you. They already were not tolerant of each other. They definitely are not tolerant of you. Finding work or a place to live is extremely difficult. Now for Shar, this isn't something unusual from where you were from if you ran into anybody that wasn't a drow. It's actually a little comforting that everybody seems to hate everybody as much as you, so it's not singling you out so much. It's honestly a uh, breath of fresh air on this. <laughs> Thank God that we got a deep south fucking drought. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, I'm from the Underdark. South of Macon. <laughs> I'm from Menzo Berenzen. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to take the I-20 exit just past Fort Worth. You'll find it. <laughs> You gotta take a ride at the Tasty Cream. Once everything starts getting dark, you 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 get there. Yeah. So, like I said, it's been a couple months. You found some work, you found places to stay, but nothing for long. And like I said, the people here don't tolerate each other. The French and the remnants of the Prussian Federation that splintered into at least a dozen smaller nations still seem like they're almost ready to go back to war. There's rumors of a religious cult spreading in the wake, claiming that the Marguerite is here to save everyone. The British are the fucking British. <laughs> <laughs> they sound nice. Brit bongers are gonna Brit bong. Mine. They seem like they're nice. But yet they seem to keep claiming everything. And you find yourselves scattered across this continent, and you saw flyers. Crew wanted, all accepted, high pay, high risk. Sounds about right. That's about right. You can see a fancy M within a circle of a gear that seems to also be a bear claw. The pastry or a claw? Hey, like an actual claw. <laughs> we do love our That is a legitimate claws. question. Yeah, that is and it says question. underneath Inquiries apply at the Boilermaker Tavern or the Raven's Eye Inn. So, first thing I will ask everybody is Raven's Eye or Boiler Room. So, raise your hand for Boiler Room. What is it? A uh, Boiler Room? Or the Raven's Eye. What's the Boiler Room? It's a tavern. Raven's Eye is an inn. I like the, I like the idea of inn. 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 In. It has a bird in the name. And <laughs> a bird in the name. Raven IG. Boiler room just doesn't sound comfortable. Okay, so are you, up, are you going to the end? Sure. Okay. And Spencer, you're going to the yeah. end. You're going to the Boilermaker? Okay. Since there's one of you, we'll start with that. Uh, you walk in to the Boilermaker, and the first thing is you have to go down several steps to the Boilermaker of Berlin. It is immaculately, all the brass that you see here is immaculately polished. And the decorations on the wall make absolutely no goddamn sense. <laughs> it looks like schematics and newspaper clippings. There is a whole ass arm. You're not sure if it's a replica or an actual arm 
on the wall and it just says, deserved it. Underneath a little squiggly mark, M, period. <laughs> Inside you can see, it's not a big space. Like this probably used to be a furnace room. Mm -hmm. There's a few tables, it's snug, there's a long bar, and there is an automaton, silver in color, wearing a black suit and a black hat, polishing a glass, turning around, putting it up, taking another glass down and polishing. Well, how do you do? Hello. One zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one 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 one. My name's Gerald. Uh. Would you like something to drink? I do not need. Mm -hmm. It is unnecessary for me. No, for me to. I'm need. very sorry. Uh, so many new types of people have come around. Can actually help you with. Perceived flyers for work. Did you take the little ticket off the bottom? I, reach, I, I hold up the entire flyer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, very good, sir. If you go over there towards the pissoir, you'll find exactly what you're looking for. I will make my I will make my way that way. Okay, you go down a little tucked hallway. And there's just a door that there's a door that says pisser, and right next to it it says pissoir. Oh. I will knock on the pissoir. No noise. No no response. I will look at the door and hold up the fire. <laughs> Go through for, the door. But you just <laughs> you just see a symbol begin to form on the door. Very much resembling a gear made of blue light, began to twist, twist, turn, pop. The door then swings open, and there's a very long black hallway with a white light at the end of it. Don't I go toward, toward the, the light. light. I will go up. That's a very, it's very good advice. You're going to walk towards the light? Do a deck set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you your Wisdom set. <laughs> no, so we'll get back to you. Uh, now, everybody that... Uh, Took or went to the Raven's Eye. I need everybody to go ahead and roll me a D4. Roll me a D4 and raise your hand if you got even. Even, even. Okay, so the two that have even, y'all actually go into the same Raven's Eye Inn that happens to be outside of the capital of the very imperialistic and fastly growing Aventus Rome. It sounded grand. It advertises itself as grand. It's it exists very quickly because what what is your intelligence? Uh, that would be a twelve. Twelve. <clears throat> Ten. Ten. Okay, you can pick up. This country might exist because someone else wants it to exist. Good. Colonize. No, not not colonize. More like buffer state. Ah. Like, there are countries that probably let this one exist because there's somebody else on the other side of them they don't want to be next door to them. Oh, that makes sense. See, I happen to be a cartographer, so I I happen to have a rough map of the area. So Is it the rough map you drew? Yeah. Is there a section, never go here. <laughs> this Something town like is that. called Fuck Off a Stand. <laughs> you got to put those little traps, you got to put little traps in the map to make sure nobody copies them. So, you know, let's fuck off a stand. <laughs> okay, so y'all walk into the same is Raven's this, Eye. Is this, we rolled, what did we roll the D4 for? Uh, even or odd. Okay, odd. Okay, so the folks with it even, you walk into the Raven's Eye Inn that's outside of Naventus Run. It is, the outside looks like a two-story drab building, but when you walk in, it is actually fairly well furnished. It is comfortable, and it looks like this inn might have about 10 rooms. 
And there's a couple people sitting at tables, mostly humans. Some of them looking like this is not an end for them. This is a, uh, they got that in life going on, you know, the, they're side eyeing you. Yeah, it's like, they best not be trying to get the good breakfast. That's my English breakfast. You don't get none of our beans. I don't know why there's just a super country dude in Italy. I don't know why they're eating English breakfast in Italy either, but you know, oh, the breaks. Yeah. And there is a uh, portly dwarf behind the counter. Large scar across his nose. Starting to gray at the in the like starting to gray at the base of his mustache. Can I help you? Yeah. Well, don't, yep. um, are we traveling together? Or? We could be. Okay. We could meet along the range. Sure. Why not? I, I saw a flyer, and you're a robot person, or something. Or? Yeah, a robot person. Okay. But, um, but I seem to have a lot, quite a bit of emotion for a robot person. So I don't. I'm not, I'm, not, I, I'm not your normal automaton. I honestly don't care. I'm about not like those automatons your daddy told you about. <laughs> <laughs> Name is Vera. Vera. Well, my name is Charlotte. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. This is the human way. I, shit, I wouldn't know. All right, uh, drow, very much drow. Anyway, uh, flyer, inside building, here we are. Hey, um, me and my uh, traveling companion are, uh, saw this flyer here. We're out of eggs. Oh, dang it! We did not ask for eggs. <laughs> we did not ask for eggs. I'm sorry, a just leans out of the background of eggs. <laughs> the dwarf. Eggs. Fine. Go to, this, go to the market later. <laughs> and <he> just walks away. <laughs> anyway, we saw this here uh, flyer and uh, said something about a job opportunity. Oh. Yeah, go down that hallway and find the door marked Pissoir. Ah, yes, the ancient and wonderful Pissoir. Vera just seems confused. <laughs> As one would be. I, I, all right, we'll uh, confusedly walk down this hallway. Okay, there are two doors. There's one that literally says Pisser, and the other one that says Pissoir. We'll go in the Pissoir. Mm. Much the same. You see a gear turn. Mm -hmm. It opens long, dark hallway with a white light at the end of it. This, you know, um, never was a big fan of long, dark halls, but uh, I'll protect you. Well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 what do, was do, that? Do, 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 do. That's how drow, that's how drow walk, do, 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 obviously. Do, 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 do. Rocks fall over my eyes. As the drow just goes, do, 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 do. It only happens in the Underdark. It's, you know, you it's because the Underdark is nothing but those magical keyboard floors. Oh, God. Uh, and fear is very clanky. Okay. Clank, clank, clank. I want no, you to know no, this. Now my is freaking Dragon Maid's first opening. <laughs> I just hear that the underground theme of Mario. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> All I'm hearing is that I got squeaky shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the folks that got an odd. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, you find yourself in one of the least hospitable oh, okay. locations. You're outside of New York City. Oh. While Europe was fighting the war, you thought maybe the other side of the ocean held something better. No. No. A decades-long struggle has been going on here that kind of got put on pause when the sky ripped open and turned purple. So there is, is it a country? Is it not a country? Are they friendly? Are they not friendly? Why is the ghost of Stonewall Jackson also steampunk wandering around in the marketplace? You don't know. He's just there. He possessed a T-Rex for a while. It was a whole thing. Don't ask him. He'll tell you, and he won't stop. I'm in danger. <laughs> and, uh... This is fine. Everything's fine. There's a group with torches. This is less fine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no one is... What is the group with torches doing? They're yelling about send the rifters back. 
Oh, oh, who are that? Who are these rifters? Us. What an evil name. You're rifters. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So the the there's a raven's eye in New York too. Mm, yeah. All right. All right. Do we know where it is? I mean, I assume that there is an address. On the flyer. So are y'all trying to hightail it there? And avoid the mob. And yeah, avoid the give me a stealth check. Yelling? Yeah, get a stealth check. I want to I wanna fly. <laughs> You're not I want to fly though. up and avoid them. Okay, that, that's not bad. That, that's not bad still. What'd you get? 15. You're good. That's my spell. Can, I, can I fly overhead? <laughs> You're not stealthing. You're just booking it? Yeah. Do a perception check for me. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> This is either going to be good. great or awful. What did I have? Not good. Not good. You got a five? You don't notice it. Of course I don't. Uh, so the two of you that passed, you're able to skirt through the side streets. Mm-hmm. You actually see a group of goblins. Like, come on, come on, come on. All right. And they all, three of them hop up on each other and pull up a coat. Pull on a human mask. That's just some... Oh, no, it's those unsettling, like, late 1800s, early 1900s, like... <laughs> like, like leather that, masks? It's like the, is that actually someone's face? That's not right. No. And then they put on a that big hat. Not... Oh, but that's not I right at just, all. I just look just like that Lincoln boy. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> you actually see, like, when they go along the wall, all six <laughs> arms are sticking out the side of the jacket. No. I think people usually have two. I'm glad I'm not Actually, you see the top set go in and the middle set are still hanging out? That, no. Uh, that, that is good enough. So you and the, the Gabo trench coat crew make it to there. I'm going to leave this to you since they failed. Okay, so. Okay, so as you're trying to. Uh, can you get some coffee? Okay. No coffee. So you're trying to escape the mob and you're. Like, oh, oh, I can just go this way. And then as you're doing that, someone is throwing out a chamber pot. Um, and just some, and just you some just miss it, but it causes you to collapse in the street. And you, tra- you get trampled and are dead. You, you get trampled and dead. <laughs> well, no. And then, like, you see one of the dudes with a torch just be like, oh, there they are! And then they start charging at you. So what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to run them. Gonna run? You're just gonna run. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. That's fine. I'm Uh, I'm gonna run in the. Did I see the direction they went? Uh, you see a direction of the uh, your other fools. Yeah, they're just yeah. I'm gonna run in that direction. Okay, just give me like a low athletics check. Yeah, my brain. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, you're able to. Like, despite the fact that, like, you know, they're a big, scary mob, they're kind of out of shape. And you're, like, you're, you're just, you're cut, and you exercise regularly, so you're just like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and you're able to uh, wind down some streets before you make your way into the Raven's Eye Tavern. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a net. <laughs> or, a, or a trebuchet. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot out of the sky. Oh, yeah, fucking can. What's your AC? Oh, God. Um, oh, wait. No, this is my uh, 14. No, this is my good one. 14? 14. Okay, it matches. Uh, you feel like a pinch go through your little uh, birdie leg. No. How dare you pinch my birdie leg? <laughs> okay. You only take three damage. All right, fine. Uh, but give me a strength saving throw. Because as you notice, it goes through your leg and it's like a barbed... Uh, of course it is. And you look down and you Get see one of the dudes with the, the uh, what looks to be like a harpoon gun from a, sh- a ship. Oh. Eight? Eight? Uh, no. I, no. I'm deciding this is not... They, so they, they lied to back me. And he's like, oh, got chicken to die, boys? <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? Better help someone come help you. I'm far from a captain. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. So you failed, and you're. Let's let's get out some names. No. <laughs> Don't. There's no need for this. Oh, God. Okay, so. Oh, coffee. Yeah, be careful. It's full, and also Kyle's coffee pot is shit. Is it? 
Yes. Oh, well. Uh, I'll take this face back here. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, here you go. Put it in right there. Are y'all already in a fight? I went to get... I got... I, I, got, got, I went to get, get coffee. I mean, I got... I'm <laughs> get, it's it's my curse. Track. If I fly, I get real in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them had a... Do 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 you know what? <laughs> this mob is way better armed than I thought it was going to be. Well, the thing is, he ran off. Are you in N O F T? And <laughs> run off. She didn't see the guy. Well, with I'm the a southern here on this one. All right. What? I'm gonna be the southern. Okay, on so this he one. is going. He's the just going to, to, to uh, continue to pull you in. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh, random humans. Uh, yeah, no, we got random humans. All right. Come in. Come in. Enter. Entre. Do a password. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get him. Do I need to roll another strength check? Uh, yeah, go ahead. There's a strength check. A strength check or save? Save. I'm sorry. I mean, it's the same either way, I guess. Why does it matter? Why do you keep... Stay... Eight. Okay, okay, okay. There needs to go and die, Oh, no. So you're about right there, and he's going to take out a large machete. And a, a, a machete, really? Yeah. Full on machete. People. Full what on machete. And as you get closer, this dude stinks, and you see just like weird stains on his uh, white shirt. That's a nine. That's a nine plus three. That doesn't hit you, right? Mm-mm. Okay, so you're able to get out the way. All right. So what do you want to do? <clears throat> I'm going to unholster my pistol. I'm going to shoot him in his face. Okay. <laughs> Give me a... Roll for self-defense. Roll for self-defense. 16? 16 hits. Thank you! All right. Uh, Pretty sure this is a normal-ass, regular-ass peasant-level human being. So. I don't... This is a normal... I don't, I don't a harpoon yet, yet, okay? Yeah. Uh, he's got six damage. Six damage? In his face. Oh! <laughs> He's dead. Thank you. He doesn't have a face he's anymore. Like, <laughs> so he's like, yeah, come here, chicken. And he goes down to hit you, and then you're just like, hold it to his head, bam. His fucking brain just What flat. happened during the Civil War that all these New Yorkers had these southern accents? <laughs> you don't want to I'm dying here. <laughs> hey, you, you killed me over here. All right. Um, yeah, so. Uh, oh, crap, I called the police, but they ain't coming. <laughs> Oh people. dang, you oh. shot me in my face. <laughs> You're going for it oh, again. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, dang, so oh jeez. Do, do I still have this this barb? You're able to remove thing? it. All right, cool. I'm going to continue on my way. Hey, give me an athletics check. <laughs> I don't have to do the technical stuff. 13? <laughs> 13? Yeah, you're able to get away. All right, cool. Um uh, the, the the seeing a bird with the gun kind of frazzled some people, so you're just like, yeah, fuck off, and you're able to get away. As you're going by, oh, dude, look at that big ass pigeon. It's got a gun. Is that a pigeon? <laughs> no, but you also see as you're flying by, you see like when well, you in New York, <laughs> hold like a whole pizza. Right now we got gun chicken. Yes, D and D pizza rat is in this now. Oh grief! Okay. Dire um, rat dragging off would, a whole pizza. <laughs> I would just like to to find my way through yeah. the massive grid of New York City without landing and get to the yeah. place. Yeah, y'all are able to find oh. the Raven's Eye Inn. Okay, the Raven's Eye Inn in New York is part of a much larger building. It seems like it takes up a portion of it. You see the very familiar one-eyed Raven. Yeah. Uh, from the uh, from the poster, yeah. mm-hmm. and as you get in, a uh, bunch of goblins, bunch of goblins in here. One of them, I can't believe I can't go outside to get a fucking bagel. Well, you know how they are out there. Yeah, I know. <sighs> They're fucking killing everyone. Yeah. Good thing we got the trench coat. We got the trench coat, and I got a beard. Can, can I suggest the arms go up a little higher? I don't think they, they you need to tell us what to do, lady. Not the ribs. I have a PhD in humanology. A PhD That's in humanology. A, in humanology. Well, that human that ran the humanology college took all my gold so I could get my degree. Oh shit. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Humanology. I want that degree. Yeah. Good luck with that. Good luck. 
What's a degree? I got it from Brock University. <laughs> I like me some round room. Well, you telling me it's not accredited? No. Fuck. <laughs> oh yes, that the name is Talia Roughglass. How are y'all doing today? Oh my. Oh. That it was some crazy shark heads out there, wasn't it? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you okay? We heard some ruckus on the way here. I shot a man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, you know, that I just have to just punch a homeless man and then because he just tried to touch me, but then that that's okay. Why would you just punch a homeless man? Because uh, he was an asset, okay? I'm in danger. <laughs> and as you say that from behind you, you see this rather large muscular upper body that is very human. And then this lepizoner esque thin, lithe horse body. Centaur been skipping leg day, y'all. Oh, God. Yeah. Just come out. All right, can I help you? Um, can I say work? Work. All right. I think we all hold up flyers. Mm. Go down the hallway. <laughs> mm-hmm. Find the one that says Pissoir. Pissoir. What? Pissoir. Oh, oh Pissoir. Oh, that? okay. Pissoir. P I S S W A H. You understand that? <laughs> yes. Uh, a there's like bit. something you in there somewhere, but it's not where you think. It's a comma to the top. Oh, okay. I'm going to follow, oh. follow a new friend over here. <laughs> so, y'all go down the hallway again. You get to the end of this hallway. You go past several rooms that just say Danny Gavito. Okay. Gobber De Niro, oh. Billy Gob Thornton, underneath it, Gobby Hill, underneath that, Greg. Hey, Greg. Where's the Drogob? Uh. You do see a little goblin child dressed as a red dragon come walking around look at you. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> okay. You're actually doing this, Adam? Yeah. Bite you in the fucking shin. <laughs> Take no damage. And three just, damage. And then he walks off. <laughs> oh, the ankle biter. <laughs> but then you get to one door that says pisser. And then right next to that it says piss Well, I guess we go through that door? I believe so. Go through the one with the comma to the top. Alright, open go up the door. Go through the comma to the top door. <laughs> so you go down the long dark hallway. Mm-hmm. With a bright light, and as you mm-hmm. walk, as all of you walk towards the bright light, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter till all you see is the light around you. Are we dead? We, we in the matrix? Room. Yes. <laughs> Are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, they smell purple this time. And as you get in, all of a sudden, all of you are walking into this large room. Mm-hmm. Deep, rich, red wooden walls with raised paneling. There are several chairs set up, a projector, and a screen. And it looks like the screen has been pulled down over a double door. Mm-hmm. And every so often you see a little flick in the top corner of the screen. And then all of a sudden, one, two, three. Uh, is something gonna blow up? <laughs> four. I don't know what. I just don't know what if, this is. I'm gonna if, go it was, sit down. if it was gonna blow up, it was gonna come down. Yeah, I'm gonna you go sit, down. sit down. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna just sit down. down. I'm gonna flip a chair around and do the Riker sit. <laughs> it spins itself back around. Why? <laughs> Wait, I can't sit a chair because I don't wave, man. I gotta be able to turn the chair just, around. You do that and it's, it spins itself back around. I've got to perch just, on just do the hell. You, know, like you the can L just part. perch on top of it. Yeah, I'm crouching. Okay, you crouch on. <laughs> everybody take a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Are we are are we there? Yeah, everybody's there. You all walked in. Like you all somehow came through the same door without bumping into each other. There's more people. Uh... It is new people. Hi. Hey. Hi. How you doing? We are here. You see a tall, lanky man in a very nice suit. 
you see, like, part of his armor, he has a little bit of armor on, and it has uh, what looks to be, like, runes of some sort on him. And he's sitting there, he looks very haggard, and he looks at all you, it's like, so you, you fuckers got the, you got the note? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, okay yeah. before we do this, the ACB Miro is not liable for any death or dismemberment. That's on you. The, the what? Agree? Death and dismemberment. No, I was, I was referring to the name, but... That, the ACB I, I, Miro. I get that part. ACB. The apple cider vinegar? Yes. <laughs> I like it's it. It's healthy. <laughs> no, I got I to hear an affirmative. Do you agree? Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you agree? Sure. Who put a fucking suit on the bird? That's hilarious. Good on you, mate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Tell us the job. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting used to this shit. Fucking talking ass bird. Do you agree? Okay, you? You agree? Affirmative. Yeah. Yeah, I, li- I like your attitude. Oh, yes, that I definitely agree. I really don't know what's going on here, but sure. <laughs> That's even better. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go talk to my associates real quick. Uh, I have some beer over here. It's mine. You don't get to drink it. There's some tea over there. <laughs> now, excuse me while I go oh. get what? What do you mean? What, what was your name? Oh, what my name is Mordecai. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Ada, this hey, student Ada. seems unprofessional. I'm, I'm very professional. Out of character, you know who you're talking to. <laughs> well, then uh, Mr. In Mordecai, if you saying. go just a, a nice little shy glance that I had me selling around for about the months I've been here. Not five minutes on this train. You already <laughs> suck it up to the boss. I am not a suck up. I am just a glance worker. And you just give away your stuff for free? I have plenty of glass. I got plenty of maps over here, but I don't just hand them out. That that is just that. that Those are just uh, the uh, damage. What is the ratio of possibility? Go to get him some broken glass. No, it's not broken. It's It's like it's probably pretty high, but you know, I got a lot of grenades. So if you try, we don't have to. We don't have to stab him. We could just shoot him. Yeah. Or just uh, punch him. Uh, Just punch him. Seems like my associates are uh, preoccupied, so let me just get y'all a little bit warmed up on what we need. We need to get a ship. Do y'all, do y'all know how to drive airships? I, I do airships. Okay. Oh, good. Flap my wings. I fly. I fly. Oh, you, I fly. That's, I fly. that's not the same as an airship. I mean, they do both fly, but you need to know how to pilot. No, I, 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 yeah, you I do. Did anyone work in a, a boiler? Uh, or in the yeah. room for? Mm, I have worked I, up uh, in a glass shop. Probably. I'm pretty good with tinkering with things. Okay. I make soup. Good, good enough. It's a, t- <laughs> it's a tiny ship. It's a... The blood loss is getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny ship. Just, it, it's very easy to drive. So, our pilot. So, we just need y'all to get it back for us. Now, I cannot tell you the details of that because, honestly, I forgot. Ambrose told me yesterday, and I was drunk. Can we have the real boss? Who is Ambrose? Oh, you want to meet Ambrose? Who is a Mr. Ambrose? Shady. 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 Okay. Does he know more details? He knows a little bit more details, yes. Maybe we should talk to Ambrose? Sure. We, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> can we talk to your manager? <laughs> when you go to get him, I'm going to steal one of your beers. <laughs> you are not a rogue. Okay, anyway, anyway, let me, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna <laughs> set up. I'm, I'm just gonna like tap something into the projector, and you see the, a map of a town pop up. It's like, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Ambrose. Maybe we'll, we'll get someone else to help y'all. Mm. Y'all, y'all feeling accommodated? Y'all feeling good? We good? Energy is really good? I don't care, actually. Bye. So, you actually lift up the screen through the double door. And as the image pops up, uh, you hear a voice come over. 
Hello, I am Balthasar Fairholm, HR Management of the AC Bureau Incorporated Air Carrier Vessel Corporation. Uh, I, first off, I'm assuming that you have met one of our partners, and they have informed you that no, we are not responsible for any physical harm and or anything else along those lines that may befall you, but we do pay well. What you are looking at right now is a very artistically rendered, and like you look, if you look around the room, the voice is coming from nowhere. <laughs> Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to infiltrate the market. Make your way through. Infiltrate. <laughs> and find the Balkamite. <laughs> I, you see Mordecai walk back in with the fucking mug. It's like, what's up? We're looking for a Balkamite? <laughs> and shortly after that, the voice... The, I'm not going to continue to do it, but you hear Balthazar's voice continue to drone on and start mentioning, like statistics and logistics and like ang like giving you like all of the shit you probably do actually need to hear and you hear he rambles you hear heavy loud footsteps coming from down the hallway is that the name of the ship and every after a couple steps and you can tell whatever or whoever's coming you hear a jingle as they walk as well and then a hand catches the bottom of the screen, pulls it, and it shoots up. And what you see is a broad, haggard-looking individual. He is wearing a suit. He is not designed to wear a suit. Everything about the suit looks good. He is uncomfortable in it. There is a sash going across his chest that has multiple medals. There is a red, angry, freshly shaven face. An eye patch over a large powder burn on the left eye and a top hat that has a couple medals on it and a set of goggles. It's Ambrose, right here. Captain Ambrose Ezekiel Brightmore, head of the air carrier and vessel Miro Incorporated. Close. Stop the fucking projection. Oh, yeah. Balthazar <laughs> wants everything to be official. Nothing about this goddamn thing's gonna be official. Oh! Okay. Are you drunk? Not yet. Okay. Did he insult you? Kind of. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Oh. I didn't hear that. For informational purposes, the likelihood of this one assassinating the tall one in his sleep has risen to 27%. <laughs> That's not happening, trust me. Now, you also notice as he moves his hand, he has rings on all but his index finger and thumb. Uh, real quick, anybody have a soldier background? Yes. Okay, folks, you can tell, looking at the way the rings are arranged on his hand, they are set up to function like brass knuckles mm -hmm. in an area where you're not allowed to have brass knuckles. You also notice telltale signs on both hands of You've been here long enough, multiple repeated firearm use. There's a scar across the thumb from pulling the hammer back, thick and calloused. This looks, look, here's the deal. You probably don't know much about us. That's fucking fine. You don't need to right now. You wouldn't be here if you knew everything that my boat and my second boat my third boat. There's a few of them. Have done. Or would you check the door? <laughs> we are currently a legitimate licensed air carrier vessel underneath the European Union of nations. Well, the, the, the thing EU we were in Europe. Europe. New York. We're, we're, in, we're, in, we're, in, we're in New York. You're in. My map said so. You're in, in Oslo right now. Yeah, you're in Calmore. 
Nope. We were, we were in New York. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, funny yeah. magic, huh? But yeah. Some cool shit. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> we had become a legitimate company out of necessity. I don't like it. I actually don't get to fly that much anymore. All Miro's parked most of these days. In any case, we're mostly here because you want to find out what the fuck's in that tower. I kind of want to see what's in that tower. Have you seen the tower outside? It's fucking... No, they haven't, Mordecai. Oh, yeah, yeah. We literally... We used Ophelio's tunnels. (coughs) I don't know. He said Ophelio's awesome opening. That doesn't spelled, sound good. No, it doesn't. He spelled awesome with an O. Fucking crazy, man. Anyway. That sounds like a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bear Ball Bazaar would go. <laughs> the Ball Bazaar. <laughs> the Ball In any case, <clears throat> we have three major vessels that do legitimate trade. They're currently tied up. Mm. However, we have business associates. Long-term business associates that still want to get contracts from us. Pay good money. But they're not legitimate? No. (laughs) And we don't want to turn down anybody's coin or anybody's desire to hire an effective company. That's just bad business. And at nothing else in my heart, I'm a capitalist. Mm. So, we procured a small boat. And we're going to put together a crew. But we've run into some red tape. The Calmar government. Calmar government. We paid taxes when we bought it at auction. And they've tried to double taxes. And I'm not fa- fucking paying double taxes. That's mm. bullshit. I'll blow up the whole damn thing. The whole damn shipyard. But I can't do that now. He says I can't do that. Uh, We, unfortunately, cannot go in and do what we used to do. Mm. Because it draws too much attention. What you got? Is current mission precepts to abscond with the vehicle? Yeah. Mm. you, You technically already bought it? Yeah, but I'm not paying the extra taxes... And they impound You guys seem like the type that would just barrel in there anyway. Yeah, but we usually we can't. We have a And then he goes down and points at this one metal that he has drawn on. Okay, there is ink smudging this shit. Like he's been trying to see if he can get kicked out. I'm currently a trades official. And if I get caught with this, there's a couple other things they can technically try me for on war crimes. Yeah. Yeah. We got a few of those. That war between France. I don't think they've been charged with that before. Uh, the You're Pop not wrong. But that was your fault. That was my fault. Kazakhstan. <laughs> Kazakhstan. That was your fault. South Louisiana. That was my fault. There's. A, Quebec, is, Quebec was Oris. Yeah, Quebec, Quebec was Oris. But we just we have a face now. We can't we can't go around and do what we used to do, or else we would. So, here's the deal. Put it in terms to understand. We will pay each individual one of you two hundred gold to mm-hmm. go retrieve the Balkamite. If you get caught, we don't know you. We'll bail you out through a third party, but we don't know you. If you successfully retrieve the Balkanite, we will then sign a contract with you to technically subcontract with us because you will not be officially part of our company. Easy. To handle, yeah, it's below the table, to handle anything that we cannot officially take on as a contract. We will continue to pay well. We pay 75% above average monthly. We also offer health care, dental, <laughs> child care. Child, child care? Oh, we have full benefits. 
Look out. Yeah. You know, a window opens up in the sidewalk. Look out that one. And you see a bunch of kids building. Oh, shit, Mark. You got to go get them. They're building a oh, death ray again. Oh, shit. Does not the cal <clears throat> cal Calamar <throat> government um, possess track track tracking abilities of, of purchases? Oh, no. They're, no. They're, they're not that advanced. No. How, how will we launder the Bacamite? Oh, you're going to have to go in there and yeah. get it. Yeah, go in and get it out. I mean, don't, don't, don't and, and, track it by ser serial number. The what? I don't, I don't think airships have serial numbers. I don't think they What is a serial number. Pull out my pistol. Oh, that, oh that is some bullshit oh, right that, there. Uh, I, am, uh, always oh, that, I am from a uh, halfling country. We don't I don't need understand. A really big file to knock off serial number. Order I think you see just Ambrose just, just reach underneath it. his jacket and pull out this massive Walker revolver. No, no, I don't know where you're from, but that's bullshit. Think, then he pulls out another one. It, no, or no. We get a hold of it. Yeah. And they won't just you, you just watch as he time. repeatedly pulls out guns from like where is it coming from? It now you understand why this is, might be uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, you see Mordecai pull out a little mine. It's like yeah, this ain't nothing here. Oh shit, little what's that? Bird. So what? what's that? So, oh. Oh. oh, so in, in this universe, VIN numbers don't exist. No, <laughs> no. Uh, Any case, so the worst, way too much paperwork for people to keep where up. Do with. We worst case scenario is we rename the ship and we re-register it in another country. Where where do we bring it after we? Oh. I vote we name it the Magpie. You have to bring it to one of our depots outside of Calamar government. We got one over in the Orkneys. Okay. Or a map. I'm good. No, it's not the Scotland. Scots? You got a map? I I got yeah, it. He, he was sitting there making a map. It's pretty cool. It's very talented. <laughs> you can show them where that is. All right. So my question is, do you accept, or do I need to get another bunch of people who are desperate? I'm good. Oh, yes, that I'm very good. If I mean, that they're wrestling light, but I'm not the talky type. I'm more the punchy type. 200 gold? Yeah, so 200 gold. So I'm a yeah. of desperation of group 87%. <laughs> CC Landy's fly, yes. Hey, you, you look like you got a little bit of a bang right there. It'll stop bleeding eventually. <laughs> you, you see him tap one of the uh, runes, and it lights up red, and he casts healing word on you. And he can't That's be going strange. Out. He's flinging spells at you. <laughs> I mean, you can't be going out there all hurt and everything. No, that's Came men in here healing. Yeah. That's men healing. <laughs> we got like that's three. So, uh, that's fine. That's all I needed. <laughs> What's, what you need? This unit has a request of all present. What's up? Potatoes. Mm. He's gonna walk into essentially into the middle of the room, trying mm -hmm. to find one. Uh, uh, building infiltration protocol nineteen, and immediately starts emitting light uh, okay. around <laughs> around around everyone. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> after uh, it's, yeah, there's it's, a light goes on, just Ambrose put a hand over the one. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> essentially, sca essentially scanning everyone. And Stands up and goes, <clears throat> this, 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 this one is this, I, 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 I believe that this is going to work. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Infiltration program, uh, program 19 successfully activated. Sorry about that. <laughs> that, uh, that. That 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 was my bad. I don't believe I've introduced myself to all of you. I don't think anybody yeah, introduced right. himself to anyone, honestly. Uh, uh, allow, allow me to go for. I, I, that may seem a bit strange. What just happened? Yeah. Uh, it, it is. It is part no, of my. No, it's awesome. I like it. It's part of my. It's part strange. of my whole my core programming for infiltration to to kind of the like, amalgamation of people around. It doesn't matter. I am the I am the autonomous versatile infiltration execution tracing humanoid endeavor reconnaissance assault technician. The acronym for that is Abby the Rat. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> is what? What? Is what? Abby the Rat. Abby the Rat. Abby. 
I knew, this, I, I knew this was happening. <laughs> two days. And I'm still <laughs> It took me two days to come up with that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Following I gotta, that. I gotta add that shit to auto. That's some cool shit right there. No, you don't. Just call me Vera. Vera? Vera. 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 Sorry, what? Vera. It is a Vera. Just go, ah. Uh, Vera? Uh, ah. Uh, Air. Air. Well then, Air. that just like top of the Air. fly boy afternoon, that it is uh, Tali of Rough Glass, but Tali for short. Okay, what's your name? Oh shoot, let me introduce myself. Oh, yeah, you're Charlotte. I'm, I'm Charlotte. Mm-hmm. See, I, I I knew it. Keep everything. Char- Charlotte, 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 got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I I am a very much a. Uh, a businessman. Charlatan. I am a cartographer. Charlatan. And I make actual maps. You've never seen them from the sky. You are being rude. You are. Since when does that stop <laughs> any map maker? <laughs> I, mean, I, I make glass bottles <laughs> on the s- uh, for uh, primary stuff. Hmm? Hello, Adam. Uh, I'm, I'm so Adam. Okay, What's well, I'm Puck. Puck. I shoot people. I, I do that too, but I fix things. What, what a coincidence. <laughs> I stack them. We got a nice little crew right what here. What is Adam? I stack oh, yeah. Off in the distance, you hear. I, 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 I shoot things, but I fix them more often. Off though. back down in the distance, you hear someone cursing in a language that none of you know. Are you oh. sure about that? If I break. <laughs> and then Ambrose yeah. just looks, I gotta go. <laughs> and just turns. And what was that? What was that? Goodbye, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No one in here, only one, I think maybe one person knows some Polish. Yeah. I don't. No. But you hear swear, like subtitles, swearing in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> and parentheses, he's in trouble. <laughs> and just turns and goes off and goes back down the hallway. Yeah, I can finish this up. It don't matter. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was Polish. And that was Aura. She she's probably about to kill somebody. What? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about Wait, it. Wait, what? Like literally? Maybe. I don't know. Long as you gonna kill him? The confidence man for the entire company. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm gonna say is that there is a fall festival going on right now. So when you get to the marketplace, it's gonna have increased guard presence. Sounds and better than torches and pitchforks like they had in New York. Oh, oh shoot! Fuck New York. We just had a lovely stroll through Italy. It was fine yeah. for us. Yeah, and we had Lucky. to deal. We had to deal with. They weren't weird so fond people. of rippers. Squid. I didn't have any problem in New York. I just ran. So. Well, I ran too, but they still would have. Yeah. Didn't eat the. I got the shanked. Oh, uh, did they get you with the harpoon? Maybe yeah. they were angry. Some of them people. I had to try they to call me a like, chicken. <laughs> Wow. That's kind of funny, though. We had to try to stop an Italian grandma from giving me extra food. (laughs) (laughs) Gonna gonna flex flex my wings so that two of the longest pinions kind of go like this. Oh, my God, you're so skinny. You're going to Uh, drift away. You know, celebration. You are fired. (laughs) (laughs) You're you know, it gets Grandma really tries cool. feeding the Warforged and doesn't understand why they're like, I cannot consume. You just put the warm plate on your face. <laughs> Pretend to eat. Anyway. Um, so is the... And then do we need to get the boat to you? near the yeah. festival? Yeah, so let you me get so the... many carbs right okay. now. Oh, I shall so get much. the map. You are here. <laughs> oh, God. That's the question. Everything's Do elves right. actually... I don't this. think I don't Okay, think we are in the lower left corner. And where you need to go is the shipyard over here. Okay. What about the tower? You said something about the tower. I really want to know what's in that fucking tower. If y'all can go in the tower for me, okay, I should. You can fly. You should fly into the tower. I should fly into the tower. Tower. That sounds dangerous. Towers are fun. Eeries are fun. Towers are fun. Yeah, but why do you want to go in that tower? Fucking Nords hide some shit in towers. I'm telling you. Anyway. (laughs) What time? Do we pay extra? Full frills up. Hard to find interesting stuff in there. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, what's my persuasion? Uh, what's my persuasion? Now I'm just picturing this character, like this character, sneaking in a big bed, like, what are all these 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 coins sitting around here? Whatever. Ah, <laughs> ten. 
Ten? <laughs> I'm not the top of the tank. A map? A map? Okay, it's he more He really than wants to know what's in the tower. So I'll you, Okay, I'll give you all extra, like, 50 gold if you just go in there and just see what's in the tower. Just extra 50 gold all around. Cool, cool, cool. 75 if bring you treats. Persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> in my numbers. It's going to be a little bit higher because you're asking... 21! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> got you, got you. Okay, so there, th- this is where y'all are. Mm-hmm. This is the tower. It's very beautiful. It's very obvious. Yeah, it's very obvious. <laughs> now the shipyard is over here. We don't care how y'all get into the shipyard. Like y'all can cause a ruckus, blow it up, whatever. It's up to you. You're not connected to us. <laughs> I feel like the fact that those are your, those are your first go-tos <laughs> pretty much explains why he looks as angry as he does. You also notice, as you say this, a ghost of a very skinny, well-dressed man appears behind Mordecai. A, a ghost. <laughs> Straight this up. Is a, this is a really strange area. The, there is a name tag floating in his ectoplasmic form that just says, Benny. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, you, you would be right. No, no, no. Benny's just behind him. Pulls out like a ghost knife and tries to stab and can't um, do I anything. Think this is Mark, 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 Mark. What's up? Yeah. What's up? You have offended the spirits. The name tag hits the ground and then slowly starts to float up. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about him. Get the fuck out of here. Just. You know, you're not connected to us. There will be, I'm going to say this now, there will be consequences if our name comes up. I will throw ticker tape from the tower, we'll not make a distraction. To call you guys, so I think we're okay. That's good. That, that's a good way to look at it. But yeah, if there's anything else, unless you have any other questions. So ooh. get in, get the thing, and yeah. where is it we need to take it again? You need to take, where, where did we say uh, Scott. Oh, so way the from to the, the Orkneys, there is a Miro docking place in the Orkneys. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, or you need a drink, or how how contact when job done? Uh, once done. you're in the Orkneys, you'll be able to contact us. We're gonna take the boat. Name name to ask for. To uh, ask for. Should we? We shouldn't. Just ask for Aphilia. Fuck. <laughs> and tell him more to pass him. Got it. Don't, don't. We, we, we keep our names on the down. Tell, tell Ambrose. David said. Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, use Ramsey. Say Larry. No, that summons. Ambrose picked. Never say Larry. I'll say, ha <laughs> No. <laughs> also, oh, no, he's out. Uh, also, a little red cap. You're not going to catch me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh. And just runs off, knocks over all the beer, pisses in a corner, and is gone. So, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> I am utterly confused as to the goings on of this particular meeting. <laughs> I'm getting paid 200 gold, still a ship. Let's go do it. Okay. If we go in the tower, could you tell us more if we find something in the tower that we can take back to? Okay. Um, it's either way. Are there any other, uh, details we should know about the, the air? Like, is it, is uh, it it's, a, it's a smaller, it's a smaller vessel. It's more like a skiff. It's really quick. Has two guns and it has a tube. What about where it, has it, a what? Where it, it is? It has a tube. A tube. It has an electrical impulse uh, EMP gun on the back. Oh. oh. I thought you meant it. Totally. <laughs> it, it. It is kind of a two. You hit you hit another ship well, and it'll first start. lightning out the bat is what you're telling me. Yeah. Much. We got that ship from the li- Tall Man Kingdom. They do some wild shit over there. They li- we, you literally will light a fart off the back of the ball <laughs> and stun another boat. So is, is it like a heavily guarded place? Yeah. yeah. It's fairly well guarded. It's a sh- it's an impound lot. So yeah, Why and you might have to like you might have to find the keys. 
We're it, not going to find any keys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hotwire your we- boat. <laughs> I mean, do air, question, do airships actually have keys? Oh, it wouldn't be more... Aura was the oh, keeper of the keys, but I think that was Wait, we need keys a... for boot? Not like oh, keys like that. that. I'm just like, like, everybody starts talking about keys, I'm like... You You're gonna just like open up a box and just all these airship keys that are like this. I was thinking the same thing. Like I don't think the airship has no, keys. No, no, it, it's not keys like room room. It's like they're bracing it down so that it can't be stolen. Oh, Key, so break chains. Oh, yeah. break chains. Oh, we can do that. Oh, break keys chains. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Like I said, do what y'all do what y'all can do, and we'll see what where things go from there. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Okay. So the exit is this way. Uh, you might want to get a coat, and because it's getting cold. I feel like you pointed at the door. They all just came in. <laughs> I mean, no, exactly what I did. Do you yeah. have a coat? I look for a coat rack. Uh, do a perception check. Roll for coat. <laughs> Would anyone, uh, would anyone like to wear? That's so There is a coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> There's like you see like a little like what looks like a wardrobe that's like half open, uh huh. And you just see like a Confederate frock coat. You see a Union frock coat right next to it. You see like a, like Jack the Ripper esque long trench coat. Just I don't know what the Confederate is. I'm gonna take that coat, the long coat. You're taking the Jack the Ripper coat. Yeah. Why not? So you just, I'm pretty tall. Well, I don't know where the Orkneys is, but uh, that Confederacy coat, we'll just go ahead and take that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just taking this big old gray jacket. It's a, it's actually like a general's frock coat, too, so it has like the engravings and the... Uh, oh, did you kill? Don't there, get cold, right? There is, there is one bullet hole like right around here that, that can be covered up by the... the lapel? Don't worry yeah. about it. All right. We got some... There's a little stain uh, we got some on the inside. Inside. Uh, they start getting a little rusty? I think like, all these clothes are stiff off. dead people. I don't think that Air Genasi get cold anyway. Uh, Air Genasi, yes. Fire Genasi, no. Oh. So we do get cold. Water Ganassi, super fast. Are we good? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, y'all are good you, unless you it gets super duper cold. cold. Then your joints start. The, then, yeah, then you'll start I'm having ice the build up. Right, just gonna the just, uh, I'm, I'm going to take the Indian coat. Okay. Oh, and then I'm going to search the pockets. Okay, uh, uh, give, me, give me an investigation. Let's investigate this. I'm going to fluff my feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get this smells this, like uh, dead guy. Just uh, like a, a cool looking drifter. 16, okay, you find three gold in there. Dust. Nice. Uh, two copper, and then a, a, a note to someone named uh, Vera. It's a little bit bloodstained. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> it seems like it was a note. Yeah. For me? No. Yeah. Different beer. I'm sorry. It's just okay. the first name that came to mind. It's like, that, oh. was, that, was, that was a Zane's Woo! gun. Remember? It was. All of his guns. Oh, good. Yeah, just bloody note. What what uh what status investigation under? I apparently never filled it out. Uh, uh investigation. Intelligence. intelligence. Oh no, it's intelligence. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, Perception's oh, yeah, wisdom. Yeah. You need to uh you should get money. I rolled a sixteen to fuck it's our code. It's somewhere in the book. Uh it's you get like this? You pull out like a really large no. knife. Oh, it just has David written down the side of it. And then in the other pocket, you find like a little kit. You don't know what this is. It looks like it's for stitching or for taxidermy. You don't know. Oh, I'm just going to wrap the neck. Never mind. I'm good. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Hold on. Excuse me. There was things like a jacket. They're staying in the jacket. No, it's just a PDF. Oh, you're going to? Okay. Might as well. Yeah, what's going to hurt? Investigate. What are we, we are checking pockets of coat. Uh, 13 on the investigation. Pull out like a handful of bullets. Okay. That were, it's just the, 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 the actual bullets, not like a casing or anything. Okay. It's just, it looks like spent bullets in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a five for investigation. I would like to peek around no, the... find anything. The drinks, cabinets, the beer, and the tea. I would like to peek around. Okay. Give me I'm, your looking, I'm looking for other sneaky things. 
22. 22. Uh, you actually, when you go behind there, yeah. you notice that it's not just beer. Yeah. But it's like all sorts of different liquors and uh, spirits yeah. just lined up in like different areas. Is Zeta, there a corkscrew that a I can brief, steal? Zeta. What's up? I have some construction, so let's take a brief break. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we'll get back to what you were doing, uh, and then we'll uh, yeah, we'll. See y'all here in a minute. We gotta do something real quick and we'll, we'll be, be back. back. We'll be All back. Right.